And uh, we are so pleased to have with us in the studio Glenda Smith, who is our executive producer. And we have a guest that is just a fantastic gentleman. And uh, oh, by the way, don't let me move on. Our co host, co host is uh, Dr. Colonel Damon Arnold. Don't want to leave him out. Thank you, Doc. Appreciate President it. President of Congress, sir. And I, I was I was just cheering so loud when you said Glenda Smith is in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Arn, I love you. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, we, we, we are... On the line. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. On the line, we are pleased to have someone that we all know and love and does such a great job. I mean, such a great job. Us. Yeah, absolutely. U.S. Representative... Representing Illinois Seventh Congressional District, none other than the Honorable Danny K. Davis, yes! the congressman, yes, the congressman himself. How are you? Well, Cliff, I'm doing just great, and listening to you and Glenda and Doctor Arnold, and actually, I've been listening to the show since it came on today. I've been in my office working. Yeah. And uh, just kind of having a good time, enjoying the day. And, you know, America's heroes. <laughs> that is so appropriate. Preach, preach. Because the president seemed to have some different thoughts. That's true. About, about what makes heroes we, and who heroes are. Uh, well, we got something we want to tell you right now, Congressman. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yes. I love the it. The one and only, the Honorable County Congressman Danny K. Davis, a well, member yeah. Group Advisory Board member. Yes. Tomorrow yes. is actually my birthday. Okay. okay. Well, we got to so, start it early, Congressman. Oh, hey. I'm looking forward to it. As a matter of fact, people have already started. I've got, I've had one party, one virtual party, another party, <laughs> and another party tomorrow. But I'm going to actually spend part of it. It's my favorite day, which is Sunday. Sunday and okay. I'm going to be out promoting the census and trying to make sure that people are doing what they need to be doing. And that is filling out their census mm-hmm. forms. We're excited about it. We go out mm-hmm. every weekend. Mm-hmm. I got a bus, <laughs> the census bus, <laughs> that Cynthia Williams from APAC, the Austin People's Action Center, bought, painted it white, and got Census 2020 written all over it. Beautiful. And that's what we use. And so we're going to be out as we do. We're right at the end almost of yeah. the census. Yeah. That's and you're talking about being counted. Lord, have mercy. People need to make sure that they're counted. Because if they miss being counted, that means that we're going to miss fourteen to $1,800 dollars. For every person we miss for 10 years. Wow. So we're talking about between 14000 and $18,000 that we will miss when we don't count people. Veterans need to be counted. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everybody needs to be counted. And veterans especially because... This money comes from the federal government to the areas where we live, the states where we are, Mm -hmm. the neighborhoods, the communities. Mm -hmm. All you have to do to get it is be counted. You don't have to do anything else other than get it. But if you don't get (laughs) counted, then you miss it. You miss it. Yeah. Yeah, When you said Ten years, that almost sounded like a generation to me. <laughs> almost missing a generation. It's a lot of money, Dr. Arnold. 
It's a, and 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 of course, we also need to know how many veterans are in an area mm-hmm. because that determines how much veteran service is allocated for that area mm-hmm. and that community. So we're just trying to make sure people know and people do. I'm going to be out tomorrow. We're going to be out Labor Day, as a matter of fact. We were out last weekend knocking on doors, make, just reminding people, passing out flyers, doing all the stuff that you do to promote awareness. I wish I could just listen to the exploits of veterans forever because there's mm-hmm. no greater group in our society mm-hmm. 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 than individuals who give of themselves and even their lives. So even when I was a little boy, I loved veterans because I had two uncles who were in World War Two. Oh, sure. Mm-hmm. But they sent my grandmama an allotment check every month. Mm. She lived with us. Okay. And whenever she got her allotment check, she always went to the store and bought some chocolate candy, <laughs> mints and stuff. <laughs> and since I was her favorite grandchild, <laughs> She called me Shug. (laughs) So I just loved my uncles. (laughs) I mean, but then she took her allotment check and bought herself a house. Oh, okay. And then when I went to college, she lived in the town where the college was. Hmm. And I'd go out and visit, and she'd reach under that pillow and stuff and find $20 bills and stuff (laughs) under the mattress and all. So I've always had a Great love for veterans because I knew where that money came from. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great! We but people all... gotta do it. They gotta oh, fill yeah. them out, and they don't even have to. If if they don't want to write it themselves, they mm-hmm. can just call. Mm-hmm, they mm-hmm. can call one eight four four three three zero two zero two zero. Somebody will answer the phone and take their information over the phone. All right. Let, let's give that again, uh, please. Con- con- Congressman, give that number again. one eight four four three three zero two zero two zero. 230 That's great. And somebody will take that information, write it up, and we'll get that money back from the federal government. So, hey, carry on. I think that's great. I I know the people go from door to door and so forth, but I wasn't aware there was a number you could call. That's great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's wonderful. Uh, Doc, do you want to say something? Dr. Oh, Dr. Yeah. Arnold, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think the congressman is really right on point, you know. Uh, you know, and it, it goes to the, the thing where you had service members who were serving overseas. Uh, when I was in Iraq, it was 130 degrees. I had to wear, wear 40 to 60 pounds of body armor, and mm-hmm. we had to go through a lot of advers- oh. adversity yeah. to try to pull people out of the fire, you know, pe- people who actually had gotten injured sure. and to, to heal them. And all you have to do is walk down and give your number. Tell, tell them you're here. That's the only thing you have to do is make that call that uh, Congressman Davis is talking about or go and, and fill out the form online. You don't have to put on 40 pounds of armor to do that, but you're saving the lives of people in your community. So even if you don't think it's helping you, it's helping everyone in your community. It's helping everyone around you. And, and, and it's so essential. And, you know, when he said, when Congressman Davis said 10 years, I was thinking, man, that's a long, long time not to be uh, be heard from again because you didn't fill out a census form. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's crazy. Of course, uh, Congressman Davis would always do something like this. He's always doing the right thing, if you will. Uh, we're going to... Oh, absolutely. The... Um, 
What else do we need to know, Congressman? Well, you know, our community right mm-hmm. now, that is the black community mm-hmm. I'm talking about, is down in terms of returns. The mm-hmm. highest return that any black member of Congress has in their district is Lauren Underwood Hmm. for the whole country. I'm not talking about Illinois. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Lauren's district has the highest return, 78%. Wow. But, of course, in her district, uh, they're only about 6%, 7% African Americans or black people. Next highest district is Negus in Colorado, and he's got uh, close to that, but then it's only about 6 7% black people in his district. Now, you know, I mean, <laughs> yeah, this is... <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I take pride, and so my district is one of the lowest districts in the country. Mm-hmm. Right, and, by, by and, number, and yeah. well, 52%. Okay. And and yeah. I don't want to be at the bottom no. of nothing. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm, right. I'm beating the bushes to try to get my people, but all people really, and especially all black people, to make sure to fill out that form, it don't really take more than a couple of minutes or so, mm-hmm. and it means a lot. So, hey, if we can do that, then I'm going to have a happy birthday. <laughs> I'm going to celebrate <laughs> all the way <laughs> into the White House. <laughs> l- l- listen, your, uh, your president wants you to do that because he knows you're going to cheat. <laughs> well, you know, I think the president, he's an interesting guy, but I think we got him on the run. I think so, too. And so if we can just keep him running, mm-hmm. he don't know what to say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some folks say he's in a position where he don't know whether to do some or go blind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I, I know I know what that saying is, too. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got him. We we got him running. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, Congressman Davis, you know, because you gave some statistics that are really astounding. And I was, I was wondering, so what is the quality of life like in those different the places that have a high census number where people actually do fill out the census and do all that? Is, the be- is, it, is there a better standard of living there because now they're counted and there's more money there? No doubt about it. As a matter of fact, you know, we know the history of America. We know about racism. We know that our folks were brought here in the holes of ships, packed together like sardines in a can. We know all of the oppressive tactics that others have used to try to keep us from rising. But I remember my homegirl, Maya Angelou, from Stamps, Arkansas, they still I rise. You can do all. They even cutting the time short to take the census to get the information. Mm-hmm. But still we rise. Everything has been used against us, but still we rise. And so we just have to overcome all of the adversity that has existed. And let people know that you can try to shoot us down with your lies. But as Maya Angelou say, still we rise. Right. Yep. Mm-hmm. So we just have to overcome it <clears throat> and, and, and keep on sh- trucking mm-hmm. until we arrive at the point that our forefathers intended for us to be. And our four mothers and our four parents, all of those folks who have died, given the last measure of their devotion so that black Americans 
can be viewed as Americans with equal rights, equal opportunities, Mm -hmm. and equal protection Mm -hmm. under the law. Do we have statistics, uh, Congressman? I'm sure we do, of uh, how many people, because they got the population, how many people really come out to the districts to, to register? Yep. Um, they've got numerators, a lot of them. As a matter of fact, um, that they hired. Mm-hmm. Now to go and find these people, and some of them were having trouble getting into big buildings, and some of the buildings were Chicago Housing Authority buildings. I called the mayor, and she had no hesitation of reservation, quickly saying, hey, all those people we got contracts with that are managing our public housing building, we'll let them know to let people in. That 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 we know people <laughs> got to have security and all that. Right. But let those numerators in so that they can reach the people that that need to be reached. And we've even done some private things with private building owners to help facilitate the entree of people so that we can get this done. We need the money. We need it bad. So everything is being done. We just want to make sure that people really understand and will do their part Mm -hmm. and fill out the form. That's great. Give up the information. Dr. Arnold, did you have a comment? Oh, no, no, yeah. thinking, yeah, I was listening to what you were saying, both uh, Congressman Davis and yourself, Cliff, mm-hmm. and you know, I was wondering, you know, one of the things that they were uh, doing uh, with COVID testing was going to uh, grocery stores, because people are online for an extended period of time now, you know, for that social distancing thing, and I'm not sure if that's a good place to, you know, get people to mm. fill out the census form, because they're just standing there. And they're just waiting for it, you know, to be called into the stores. And uh, sometimes they're really pretty long. I've been in those long lines. It took me an hour to get into a store. <laughs> you know, to, to, to buy a loaf of bread. <laughs> well, they, they, this is the hard to count period. Yeah. They, they, they so these people are hard to count, and so uh, they are some of everybody. Yeah. People living under the viaduct. People who are homeless, but they all count mm-hmm, mm-hmm. for money. Uh, yep. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if you live under the viaduct. You count as much as the person who lives in the penthouse. We oh, get so the same amount of money for a person that live under the viaduct as we does for the person who live on the 95th floor of the John Hancock building. Oh, I didn't know that, Congressman David. I know if you're homeless, you can still fill the forms out and mm-hmm. do that. Oh, yeah. Homeless, whatever. And the more people in the household, the better it is. I mean, I was talking to a numerator the other day, and she found the family and had 10 people in there. And she okay. felt so good when I told her that she had helped generate about a hundred and eighty thousand dollars. She wow. said, "What? You mean what I did is worth a hundred and eighty thousand mm-hmm. dollars to this community?" I said, "Yes, it is, my darling." <laughs> she felt wow. real good about yeah. that. Yes, that's be great. Proud of that. Yeah, yeah, that's great. All right. Well, Listen, hey, do we, do we have any idea? As to what percentage of people, Congressmen, really sign up for this, as they should, everybody should, obviously. But uh, do we have any statistics on that? Yeah, we even have the areas where the turn the returns have been lowest. Okay, and those are areas that we are going into. Good, where the returns have been the lowest. And um, that information, of course, is available to the community groups that have signed up to help make this happen. 
We've got about 40 groups over here under the leadership of Donald Dew. Sure, I know Donald. Um, Habilitative mm-hmm. Systems. Right. They're doing an outstanding job, but we're trying to help them as much as we can. I've sent letters to about 500 preachers Good. asking them if every time they talk to their congregation, every time they make a speech, every time they offer up a prayer, pray that people will sign their census forms, tell them that it's a sin not to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh, I love it. That's my mother would say it's a sin before God and man <laughs> to not fill out that census form. I love, I love that. That's great. <laughs> so, yeah, I so, fill, so, I fill out my census form for my wife and myself, and uh, I, I, um, but I couldn't fill it out twice. They told me I couldn't vote twice, and I couldn't do that twice. <laughs> so, but uh, well, now a good veteran wouldn't do nothing like that. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. <laughs> Especially an honorable physician who's one of my favorite docs on the face of the earth. <laughs> yeah, my favorite congressman. <laughs> <laughs> So, as a matter of fact, I, I, I just love to hear Dr. Arnold explain things. He's so, you know, he's so yeah. professional and yes, he is. all that when he does it. And I said, my goodness, he could have even been an English teacher or something. And he's a, com- <laughs> com- a, a, a combat vet. Combat veteran, Absolutely. just as eloquent as he yep, can yeah. be. One of the most uh, honorable people that I've known and know and just gives of himself mm-hmm. continuously yeah. each and every day. And, and, hey, I'm just glad that I know folks like that. Well, listen, we, we want uh, you to know that we are wishing you a happy birthday. For, yes. For, for, for sure, <laughs> Congressman. Uh, I'm not only in that club. Huh? His flowers while he's living. Every time oh, America's yeah. Heroes Group call him yeah. for advice, yeah, for sure. a contribution, oh, yeah. when we've been short and couldn't pay bills, and mm-hmm. he has answered mm-hmm. the call. You're right. Uh huh. So Chicago Sun Time. Next time you want to report something, make sure you get your facts first mm-hmm. before you do. So anyway, <coughs> uh huh. Well, I'm 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 glad to be here because people keep on moving on. Yes, sir. Yeah. You know, yes. I, yeah, today's paper. Dr. Finney and, and yep, right. all that. And oh, I yeah. said, I am truly blessed well, to be able to continue to function and work with such wonderful people. And so I am blessed and we're blessed. Mm-hmm. Yes. And we'll just keep on working till our days are done. That's the bottom line. All yeah, right. David. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Doc, did you want to say something? Doc? Yeah, yeah. I just want to say, yeah. Congressman Davis, your news is never fake like someone who's up in uh, Washington. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. And you, you're always straight. You're always walking with God. So you are very honorable. Yes. And I, we are so blessed to have you as a congressional member in yeah. this United States. But, Dr. Arnold, not only is he, he, he does for other uh, constituents outside of his congressional mm-hmm. district, I know firsthand. Yeah. From going to his office, people come from everywhere asking him to help. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so he, I've been I've been there too. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you all so much, and I'm gonna run and get me a shot of Brazilian wine. Oh, suck it, suck it now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Enjoy your birthday, sir. So okay. Fun, thank you. Thank yes, you so much. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you.